Office Space Plan Presents video features a simple way to drill into asset utilization using Power BI, focusing on the following areas. Connecting to the Base Plan Analytics Database. Filtering data using a horizontal slicer. Creating visualizations with time and financial utilization. Comparing your total sales to your utilization percentages. Drilling into the utilization data. Okay, so I'm currently logged into the Power BI desktop application, and I've got this linked up to the Base Plan Analytics database. And in this session, we're gonna be looking at the fleet utilization data that we can actually report on that's coming directly from the Base Plan Enterprise system. So if I click this drop down on this table, we can actually see all the standard out of the box uh, dimensions and measures that are already pre-calculated. Uh, so we can, we can report on a whole range of things, whether it's per month, per quarter, uh, per year, life to date. Uh, but you can also go through here and start creating your own calculated fields as well, uh, which allows you to create your own version of utilization. But let's kick things off by uh, adding a, a slicer and, and, or a filter and then start working our way down to see how we can actually start drilling into data. So I'm going to click on slicer. And we're going to look at uh, year first. Let's go down to period year and drag this up. What we're going to do is we want to change this layout in this format section to, instead of being vertical, we want it to be horizontal. So it gives a bit of a slick look for our filters up here. So we can drag this and we want to copy this. Uh, and let's maybe also have our, our locations in here. So we can go up here and find branch. And we can uh, go back here and get rid of the year. So we're going to get rid of that one. And we're going to drop our branch in here. So straight away, we can start looking at our particular periods and our particular branches. And we can turn these uh, titles off if we want to. Um, now, what we want to look, look at is our time utilization against our financial utilization. So let's go over here and grab this particular scatter graph. So what I can do is... I can drag this up and put it in the middle, right here, for instance. And we want to go down here and find our financial utilization. And then we want to find our time utilization. So we can drag these two items on here. And you can see here that there's no data at the moment. So it's, it's showing us what our total financial utilization, time utilization is with no filters. So we want to do that by something. So we want to do that by category. For instance, we're going to go up here and find category and we've got category description. And I can drag this on. Now you can see here it's just giving me blue dots, which isn't very helpful. So what you need to do is you need to go to category description and drag it down to the legend. And it's going to give you all these things at the top, which also isn't very helpful. So what you want to do is you want to go to this middle section, the format, and uh, you want to turn off the legend. So it gets rid of that. And you want to go down to category description. You just click on that on. And it will let you know um, when you hover over it what the financial and time utilization is and also give you the, the Y and X axis as well. So that's given us our first layer. Then what we want to do is maybe we want to look at that in more of a graph. So what we can do is we can actually copy this and drag this over here and click on maybe a table. So it's tried to reassort it automatically. So I can drag this up so it's in a bit of better order. And maybe we want to compare the financial utilization and the time utilization against our percentage of revenue as well. So what we can do is we can go over here and find life to date sales. Uh, so we can drag this across. And remember in one of the previous videos, a little, little hack here, you go over here to the section on the drop down here and go show value as a percentage of grand total. And maybe, maybe you want to see the actual number in there, but uh, uh, you also might want to just compare uh, as a, at a percentage level against your financial and time utilization as well. And I can sort this over to say, show me my highest time utilization, for instance. But we've got our information there. Now what we can do is we can start clicking on some of these filters and say, only show me data for 2019, for instance, and only show me things in Las Vegas. Uh, and it'll start scoping things down. But maybe you want to, we could always start pulling over um, the data over a period of time as well. So we want to compare our utilization month to month maybe, uh, or, or throughout each day of the month or over the years as well. But the whole purpose of this video is to talk about how we can actually uh, drill into data as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a 
duplicate of this. So I'm going to uh, do duplicate page. And I'm going to call this first page category. So it's a category utilization. I'm going to call this one, uh, let's call it our type slash class. And we're going to do one more and let's call it uh, model. Model. So now what we want to do is let's go back to our type and class here. And we're going to get rid of the category and we're going to put our type in that. So we get rid of category over here on the right. Uh, and we go find our type description and drag this in. So that gives us all of our types. And we want to do the same thing for this graph here. We get rid of category and we'll get our type description in here. All right. Now let's do that for model as well. So we can go over here and, and get rid of category like we just did. And we want to get model description. Drag that in. And let's make it a bit more narrow so we can see more data. Uh, and let's go to our graph and get rid of category and also bring in model. And this is all going to make sense in a second while I'm doing while I'm doing this. So, so now what we're going to do is we, need, we want to link these pages together. So what we can do is if we go to our type and class, we can go find maybe our time utilization and see this add drill through fields here. So I can say drag this on. And that'll link it and it gives you a little back button here as well which uh, you can sort of create your own version of it whether it be an image or a name or whatever it is we'll just leave it like that for the moment we can do the same thing for model as well so let's drag time utilization on here and so let's go back to our first page and see what this has actually done so we've got our, our utilization data there and we can maybe want to have a look at this and see okay uh i want to compare like what it actually makes up my power equipment, for instance. So I can actually right click on this and say drill through to the type and class. What that's gonna do is that will, um, it'll take you to the next sheet automatically, which you can hide and all that sort of stuff if you want to. And it will show you all the different uh, types and classes in here that makes up that, that particular category. And it will give you the same information as well. Uh, but maybe you wanna say, all right, show me my power generators so you can right click on that and go down to the model level. And then you can start looking at that information as well. So we can see these particular models make our, our utilization. Uh, so that, that's just a, a really good way of being able to scope uh, and filter on particular data, uh, which, which gives you a bit more flexibility on a decision making on the financial and time utilization and, and really reviewing that information um, at, at a high level. But as I said, you might want to do that over a, over a time scale. It might, might want to be a branch uh, or, or different uh, types of um, uh, reporting as well. And uh, well, that just about wraps up this uh, Basement Present session. Uh, if you do have any questions or any ideas on future sessions, please uh, leave a comment in the section below. Uh, and uh, look, I hope to see everyone in next week's session.